um, James Orengo, who's uh, in Homer Bay, uh, on tour of duty um, to visit um, the Victory Farms um, and explore um, partnerships between them and Tiaya County. And uh, he was very, very kind to spare a few moments to pay us a courtesy call here. And we have had an opportunity to discuss um, various issues with regards to our joint economies here, the things we share, the opportunities we share. And we have agreed that uh, we will make this opportunity an opportunity for learning and for sharing and also for providing hope for our people. So we will also soon be visiting Siaya County. And apart from that, we have agreed to also discuss with the other colleagues from uh, Nyanza counties here so that we will also be able to visit Migori, Kisumu together and jointly. Because we are joined together at the hip. If Siaya moves forward, Homabe moves forward. Kisumu moves forward, Migori moves forward. And we have many opportunities that we share together on the lake, in agriculture, and others. We have discussed how we can come together in production of cotton, utilizing of our lake. But we've also discussed you know, how to strengthen our party and our politics as we stand behind His Excellency Raila Molo Odinga. Um, I'd earlier made a courtesy call to the governor of Homer Bay, Her Excellency Gladys Wanga. It went very well. We discussed a number of issues concerning counties, uh, and particularly our region of Homer Bay, Kisi, and uh, Nyamira, and Siaya, and Kisumu, and Migori. Uh, but the destination for our visit today was Victory Farms. Uh, and Steve and uh, Caesar, we are so grateful to you for giving us an opportunity to see uh, what you're doing here. And we are going back to Sierra with uh, fantastic impressions about the work you're doing here. Uh, when you talk about the blue economy or aquaculture, sometimes we talk uh, theoretically or in abstract terms, but when you want to really see how this job is done, I think uh, a day or a morning spent at Victory Farms uh, can offer very, very, very u useful uh, lesson. I think the dog likes me. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had had some conversations with the Caesar here. He came to Sierra and we explored and he explained to us uh, what possible areas of cooperation. And uh, indeed, in the next uh, few weeks uh, or uh, next month, we are going to be able we are going to be able to have effective discussions on uh, what partnerships we can engage in with Victory Farms, and they have given us ideas uh, about what we can do together. This lake is the greatest freshwater lake in, in the world, I believe. Although they say the second um, largest great uh, freshwater lake, uh, but I think uh, thinking and exploit thinking about this lake and exploiting it as one ecosystem as one large fish pond uh, in which we can carry out activities that are responsible uh, exploit the resources in a sustainable way i think we can feed uh, the nation um, using the methods which uh, victory uh, farms is exploiting. But I am looking forward uh, to Victory Farm coming to, to Siaya. Not to move away from Homer Bay, but to come to Siaya because I think uh, there are operations already uh, uh, in Mombasa, in uh, Naivasha, in Nairobi, uh, and lots of other places. And they got many other outlets. So I think uh, this visit has been effective, very useful and uh, yeah, very soon we are going to have that discussion to make sure that uh, we are food secure but advance the blue economy because i think there's 
possibilities. And the good thing about blue economy, uh, you can do it in the lake, you can do it on land like they're doing here, and in the future you can do it in space, so long as uh, you know what methods to employ and you understand the fish. Uh, because I understand the fish, I was being told, the fish also can become moody. So you need to understand this uh, whole science uh, in order to be able to do the kind of work that uh, uh, Victor Farms uh, um, are doing here. Um, and my f uh, parting shot is that their relationship with the community around, uh, with the beach man man management units, uh, this is a, a statement and uh, an operation that uh, is worth uh, uh, emulating, not just in the blue economy but in other areas, so that we, we can coexist and be able to exploit um, our resources uh, without conflict. Uh, and that can be done and the lessons we have learned here from Victory Farms. I'm here with a huge delegation with my uh, county secretary, uh, county executive committee member for uh, agriculture, fisheries, livestock, and, uh, and what else? You <laughs> blue economy. <laughs> uh, and uh, I think the other team is out here. Uh, they're all out here. I think you have seen them here. And uh, as I said at the beginning, we are going back to Sierra with uh, high impressions of what we see today. What is the state of, uh, uh, of fish production in Sierra County? Well, in, in Sierra we, we, we are doing well, but we, we don't have a huge investor uh, like uh, Victory Farms. We've, we've got some cage farming going on. Uh, and uh, in aquaculture, I think our county government is putting a lot of resources, be it in fish feeds, uh, be it in engagement with farmers, uh, be it in training of, of fish farmers. Uh, we, we have been offering free fish feeds uh, in the last financial year. We got uh, another budget in this financial year to pro provide fish feeds, uh, fingerlings, and uh, matters like our culture, actually, and blue economy are so well provided in, in our in our budget for this financial year. But the greatest of all is to have this part partnership because we want to upscale what we're doing. And uh, how much is this budget, uh, how much can it be approximated to the budget you, you set aside for fish for aquaculture? Uh, for example, last year, uh, just on fish feeds, uh, we, we spent about 40 million shillings uh, in fish feeds. Uh, 20, 29 million in fish feeds. Yeah, 29 million fish shillings in uh, fish feeds. And this year, I think we've got another 20 million yes. shillings in fish feeds. Uh, but, uh, you know, um, the other resources we're, sp we're spending on fish farmers in training and uh, giving equipment and uh, facilities uh, to the fish farmers. Yeah. And, uh, Governor, kindly, if you can uh, just translate the same in the law. Um, today we have been honored uh, by an official visit by Governor James Orengo of Siaya. It has been a singular honor to host Governor Orengo because of his focus on the blue economy, his focus on aquaculture and the capacity of aquaculture to transform um, the societies around the lake. Um, what we have shared with Governor Orengo, we pray, we wish that he shares with others so that we continue to spread um, the gospel of the potential of the lake. We have also shared our deep passion on sustainable um, exploitation of this lake. It is only one lake. What we do as Victory Farms is ensure that all of our practices are environmentally sustainable. And there is not enough room in this lake for even one person who does not practice sustainable aquaculture. But there is enough room for hundreds of entrepreneurs to practice sustainable aquaculture and contribute to food and nutrition security of this country and of this region. So once again, we thank you sincerely, Governor Orenko, and the team that you brought, and we look forward to a collaboration with Siaya County.
and oh, okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. As Victory Farms, we have several uh, CSR initiatives. And one of those initiatives is uh, to donate quality fingerlings uh, to farmers who are starting out. But we do this through the county governments because it is the county governments who have got uh, the grassroots networks to know um, exactly which farmers can benefit from the fingerlings that we donate. This so far has been an annual program. We, we did, this is the third year I believe that we are doing it and we are looking forward to continuing this kind of program in helping to build the capacity of farmers not just in Siaya but around the lake region. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Welcome to our bookstore. Every night to be right in between our next week and Thank you. 